<laughs> anyway. Anyways, Kanye West and Letterman. I'm watching it. Well, Letterman Definitely put out it. his whole little super trailer for his second season. Okay. And Kanye was the highlight there after he, Wait, after he skipped Joe Rogan Wait, and went right to Letterman. Wait, did he put What out, happened with that? Did he put out a super trailer? Yeah, it's got Tiffany Haddish. Uh, I think Ellen's on there. For an interview? Yeah, well, his, his series on Netflix yeah. is he sits. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, you. It's, <laughs> He's battling with Elliot, Joe, and Charlemagne, where you sit down and <laughs> you talk battle. to somebody. Uh, talk wars. And LeBron. He's and LeBron. And LeBron. 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 Well, LeBron be trying to talk. Well, Le- Letterman might be winning that because he's only been talking for like 40 years. What the fuck that mean? Plus. All right. <laughs> I mean, he's been, no, talking, he's been right. talking longer. About what? About what? That shit. He's had a late night show. When was the last time you heard? Get bag, Rory. Get that white bag. <laughs> this is why I don't need this from Letterman. When was the last time you heard Letterman get in-depth in an interview Like his point Is to be late night Puffy kind of, Oh this is some shit We talked about in the green room Let's go with our Scripted shit Back and forth Very surface Like I don't need Letterman with a beard To sit on stage And ask Jay Z So tell me what Brooklyn was like Like I don't need that what, what would you I like? thought that was A good interview I didn't I, I did too <laughs> I did too What, what would you like For Letterman to ask Jay I understand what Rory's saying No I don't think Letterman is this guy and, and it's no knock He's a fucking icon He changed late night TV But you I'm don't not, think He's this guy He's well, not that guy He only interviewed <laughs> people For 50 years <laughs> Okay but what did he Interview them about Jumping the Whatever. fence Jumping the fence <laughs> What did he interview them about Their movie What does anybody Interview niggas about I or just wanted to dis, 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 Larry, Larry King does way more In depth interviews Like he sat with people And, and dug into their shit like someone well, that's sitting well, there with a scripted shit, like, all right, well, tell us when Spider Man comes out. Well, CNN is a little uh, different. Put in scripted joke here. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, but CNN is, is is different than late night television. But that's not what Letterman's doing now. He's doing the pull up, even though no, he did but, it before Joe. But what but, I'm saying is, this is new for for Letterman. This this, this I, first season, I didn't. There wasn't anything that was in depth to me. Like, it's very I like surface. The J, I like the J. I like the. Uh, the Obama one too. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, this is the greatest podcast <laughs> in the world. Yo, yo, that shit was trash, man. Fuck all them <laughs> shit. No, 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 that's not even what I'm laughing. I'm just laughing because we don't let each other finish one thought. <laughs> no, not a one. No, no he finished. He said like, he didn't like it. Yo, man, I just thought it could have been a little more in depth, more stuff. Nah, I like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. I'm rolling with Maul, my no, enemy. I, no, yeah, I'm no. saying. So no, I asked Rory, what? So what would he have wanted? Let him in the action. Okay, Jay. all right, let, that's all. Let me I, thought they, I, thought, I thought he See, fucked now. I thought he fucked The Howard Stern interview up Let's talk, I thought the Jay interview Could have been I've a lot never, better I, I thought that was full Of a lot of information That we had already gotten From every other Jay interview I honestly haven't seen uh, A lot of good uh, Howard interviews Personally I think that uh, yeah, I thought I thought we got they, more. No, they dissing I, all the white legends today, huh? No, no Howard Stern no, no, no. is great as a as I a, think, and, I think and a love Game of Thrones. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I think Seinfeld got more out of him in comedians getting cars than coffee. Well, Seinfeld fucking, the, that little show because it's only twenty minutes, so they. I think he got out. more out of him than a, a sit down with David Letterman. Rory makes a good point. <clears throat> okay, I, I stand with Rory. And here's the thing Seinfeld, with, with the Jay thing. Well, that comedian car. You can go back. You can go back to what I said about the Letterman Jay shit when it came out on this podcast. I said. I'm not mad at it because his audience knows nothing about Jay-Z. Oh, so wait maybe a we'll minute. Get wait, Rory. But now if you're going to go with everybody, I'm not rolling with these surfaced-ass interviews because he does it with people from his walk of life, too, not just people from hip-hop. Well, wait a second, Rory. I think I just uncovered it, you guys. <laughs> I think I uncovered where Rory's, all of Rory's spice is coming from. Let's hear it. Wait. Oh, let him in and Rory's mom? Oh, oh no, no, that was Jimmy Leno. Fallon. That's also, he's oh, that That's my point. No, Leno. You know, yeah. Rory's mom is cool with Leno. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's a really good point. That's a very my good point. My mom is not cool with Leno. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Plus, Leno likes is... cars. Seinfeld likes cars. I see what you're Wait, doing here. It's all tied together. Hey, look at Rory's jaw structure if you get into it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if you get into <laughs> it, I mean, now it's starting to come together. All right, Rory. My bad. All right, man. Yeah. Wait, did, did Leno and Letterman like each other? Because I like Letterman better than, than Leno. I, I, no, they have beef. Oh, I yeah, didn't know that. Lo- forever beef. Yeah. They oh, are, I saw him say. enemies well, for life. Well, or... I'll take Letterman over Leno any day. <coughs> Rory <laughs> Phony. <laughs> Dicky. <laughs> but no, that's just my shit. Like, I don't need him to try to fake it in depth. Like, that's not what you come from. You're an icon. You did... You changed everything with late night TV. You did an amazing show there. I'm not taking any of that away from you. This is just not your lane. I don't need it from you. Just because you grew a beard so you doesn't mean do in depth interviews. I, I, do, I, do, I, I do think he has a nice beard. You think <laughs> they should do a top ten? You think that uh, Paul should be there playing the, the keyboard? Spice it up. There you go. Okay. Are you going to watch the Letterman Kanye interview? Of course I. Who <laughs> works? You have to almost. Yeah. 
I'm watching all the shows. I, I will say though, I'm going to watch it too. I think you almost have to watch any time Kanye sits no, down and have a conversation. No, that's not true. That's not true. And don't misuse the platform. I'm, what do you mean? I think anytime <laughs> Kanye sits down and has, platform. I, th- I think anytime Kanye sits down and has a conversation with somebody now, I think you would almost have to watch it. Okay, but do why? You, do you because think? it's almost like you, you almost waiting to see the crazy or wild no. shit he's going to say out of his mouth. I'm sure. Okay, but do you think this isn't <laughs> by chance that he? Skipped over Joe Rogan, who would give him a real objective interview, or Letterman. They would just who, talk about who has, who has lived in a scripted interview his whole life. Joe Rogan was dick eating too, man. He'd <laughs> pop uh, out of nowhere with a fucking tweet. I'll do it. No, no shit, Joe Rogan. <laughs> No, no shit. You'll take the fucking interview. Thank, thank you for this I, breaking news. Anybody would okay, take but it. I would. So like, what the fuck I, is he I'll tweeting a, about? I'll this? take a Joe Rogan Kanye interview. Uh, yeah, they would talk about <laughs> weird shit like lasers and guns and all types of shit that I really. Don't I've seen hear. Rogan keep people honest to a degree and has been very objective and asked real questions way more than Letterman in his scripted interviews his whole career. So okay. yeah, I, I do, think I, I think you I skipped over think. Rogan for a reason and now you're going to safe Letterman to do your interview. Well, I think that yeah, because I don't even think it's because it's safe. I think. Or that he would challenge him. I think that. Oh, and by the way, I think Joe Rogan would out weird. They'll talk over each other. He, he would out weird him. He would out weird thought him. Mm, I don't know about all that. Who but, Kanye? Yeah, I don't know that either. Joe yeah. Rogan brings up like the most random, like frame flamethrower, fucking laser Joe Rogan's pretty surveillance weird. shit, yeah, like in a good way. Yeah. Uh, but to the people that saying I hate Kanye West, if I was on his team, I would skip the Rogan interview too and go with Letterman. So I'm not hating. I I get it. I would go with the safer bet too. Okay. I would like to see Kanye and Rogan though. <laughs> as much shit as I'm talking. Yeah. I would have looked at that. Yeah. I'm not so excited to go look at Kanye and Letterman, to be honest with you. That's me. Right, not gonna, much is going to come They're going to say I'm hating, I know, but that's just not. I'm more interested in uh, Letterman and uh, Ellen. I'd like to see how that looks. Yeah. So you, you, you'd you rather see him sit down with people from his walk of life and career? Um, I think Ellen and Kanye go into interviews today uh, with two different agendas and they're received differently. I think Kanye, much like we've seen from him in the past and recent whatever, would be more in explanation mode, uh, damage control mode, uh, get ahead of something mode, to whereas Ellen, I think you might actually just get a genuine conversation today. Yeah. I'll say... I- I think well, that, Alan's good with, I think the interview will and be good. And I think good. that Dave is a good general conversationalist. That's, that's what I was going to get so to. So if you're not like, looking for that in, that interview style from him, which yeah, that's why I know, gonna, that's why I know Rory's point because watching it from an interview standpoint, it's like this is pretty. Well, basic. They're, they're giving yeah. you what they plan to give you. It, it's already been f- in production. See what I like about that, which could be good. It's which just happened? Not, you're not the, getting that at Rogan because if Kanye goes nuts, Rogan's not editing anything. There's no pre-production. Like it's right. going out. <laughs> Right, and but, I'm done looking for for people to go nuts and like. Yeah, that's not the allure. But well, no, no, no. I, I feel I, you on that. Not too. to cut you off, Paul. I don't yeah. think Kanye is on that. But go you nuts. Cut, you cut him off. Wow, <laughs> shit. But I don't think Kanye is on that anymore. But I, but I do think that if you sit Kanye down with somebody that he might be more comfortable to open up to, I think that that leaves room for Kanye to get comfortable and say some just mm. off the wall and shit. The thing that I do well, like and, about uh, what Dave Letterman does with people like uh, Hove and potentially with Kanye is although he does ask surface questions that are quote unquote safe, sometimes you get to more interesting answers with a safer question. You know what I'm saying? It lets them kind of open, open up and yeah, tell you a little bit more something very simple about their life that you maybe didn't really think about. You don't want to hear about what he's okay. technical shit with music or whatever. You're just going to yeah. ask like, so how's life with your wife? And he'll say some shit. And you're like, Oh damn, that's great. Yeah, no, he's you know a what great, I mean? Like to both of your points, he's a great conversationalist. He's, he's one of the best to do that when you sit with a celebrity, David Letterman's also one. So they feel comfortable in that degree. And I'm not trying to get, I don't want it's Kanye. It's a nice beard. It's a great beard. <laughs> I don't want Kanye to flip out. That's not what I'm, I'm looking for. Similar to the interview we did with Charlemagne. Like, I just like to hear from him. Right. Like in a candid way. Not in something that's a whole production where we your whole team has talked to Letterman's team and we're gonna break right here. This this is the question that's coming now. Kanye, are you ready? Lights, like I don't need that from him. I don't want to see anyone flip out. I just want honesty. That's all. I don't I don't get that vibe from his uh, interviews that they're super duper produced. Letterman, yeah, I think they're well done, but I don't. They are. Well, they're, they're going well to be done. produced they're because it's so well, It's going to be a yeah. level. Absolutely. They're just I mean, as far as the lighting and all that, it doesn't seem production. like it's OD. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's that either. Though. I don't think it's too much talk to his publicist and don't ask this. And I don't think it's too much of that. 
Oh, I think it's a lot of that. Maybe with the late night show, maybe, but I don't think with this is nah. Yeah, I never got that vibe. You know, y'all make the you know we make the joke about everybody rushing to, to talk to people, and you know that would lead me lead me to wondering: Are we oversaturated with interviews? But when I think about all the different uh, content houses and different ways to distribute, and the different people involved in the ownership of these interviews. We're gonna get, see a lot more. We're gonna see a lot more of that. Yeah, like I, this is probably just the beginning of that phase. Oh, I agree. I agree. But we're different people when we talk to different people in life. Like right. you, a lot gets pulled out of you when you sit with different types of people, even in your own circle. Yeah. Different friends, you behave differently. Yeah, not in a phony way. That's just the type of vibe you have with certain people. So I'm not mad at, at a lot of people trying to do interviews. I we, think you we, get different shit from people. We gonna I'm gonna get mad when this shit get oversaturated. And we start it's, having the dudes Joe, that can't talk at all. It's hip hop. Everyone's the dudes that be. can't talk, trying to talk. That that already exists and has been no. existed. But those, but no. Joe, those won't I last. Think, <laughs> the no. same way there's a million podcasts. Right. We're here. The dope shit stays there. Of course, you're gonna have that influx of everything because people just ride waves. But it'll, we'll see what's worth clicking and what's worth not clicking. Yeah. I'm just tired of seeing niggas sit down and talk with other niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just be honest. Like it's like I get it, but it's like come on, fam. Some of y'all don't even know how, a, how to have an interesting conversation in At real all. life, right. let alone with cameras and lights in your face. Like, come on. Like, cut it out. But again, niggas want to try shit. It's cool. I, it might be, yeah. I, I do hate to see uh, a lot of bullshit Not being oversaturated. Like, I hate that. Yeah, just like when everybody wanted to rap. I hated that. Like that was just like like the most cringy shit to me that everybody was trying That's to rap. Still happening. Yeah, but it's not it's not it's not the reason why you don't really think about it like that anymore is because it's kind of like you can control what you hear now. I feel like it slowed down. Nah, I know it's still happening. It didn't slow down. What I happened? Feel like it's rap. Not do like you go it to like the genre? Seven years ago. Do you go oh, to like no, the genre so every week? There's like 500 rappers that you never heard that pop up on the new releases genre. But hit that. That's Hip-hop. what I'm saying. But now yeah, you kind of. But you can imagine what you that hear. era with yeah. streaming. Sure. Huh? Can you imagine the old era where everyone rapped and streaming existed and you could upload it yourself? Talk. It would be Jesus Christ. way worse than it is right now. Yeah, no. I don't know. But because it's we control right what now. we hear and and what we listen to now, I think that kind of save, saves us from hearing a lot of bullshit. Because once we like a record, we put it in our phone and make a little playlist. Like right. We don't ever have to hear anything outside of our playlist if we don't want to. I listen to five new artists a week, download their album, listen to it, delete it. <laughs> You're better than us. No, I'm, I'm, just saying, I'm saying there's still a lot of new rappers. You cracked the code. Yeah. No, I didn't. The fuck? I'm torturing myself. That's kind of me. Mo and Parks were talking in the kitchen before. That's a weird segue, but it works. We were talking about the dudes that that like date a lot. Like you'll be on like four dates a week. And how on earth do you try to get to know four people in one week? Yeah, That's I can't get to know all these rappers. That's a lot for me in a year to try to get to know four new people. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's a lot Serial daters are insane Yeah But it's real though Like I know yeah. some niggas That are out on a date All the time That's got Like be the most Exhausting shit in the world To try to get to know And let someone Get to know you Expensive too for it's, Four, it's, four it's, times it's, a week It's tiring And it's expensive It is That shit adds up Especially even, in New York even, City Even if Even, if, even if you did Even if you did like Two dates a week But Consistently Yeah That's like, a lot that shit adds up. Yeah. yeah. And not just financially, it's just a lot. Like, it's like, yeah. God, the damn. time commitment in driving or getting an Uber or whatever alone and the cost of Ubers alone adds up. I'm talking about capacity in my brain. And it's, and it's taxing. Yeah, word. Yeah, ta- taxing, <laughs> just taxing on the soul. Because even the spirit. <laughs> even the most reasonable people in 2019 still want some type of text conversation during the day. Even if it's not crazy, we know we both busy. The right. reasonable people. Right. You still got to text them. Mm-hmm. And then you try to do that with two different people a week on top of your family, your friends, and whatever you do for money. To your girlfriend. And if you got a girl and you're dating these hoes. <laughs> that See? sounds horrible. <laughs> See, exactly. That's, that's nasty. Yeah, it's exhausting. I can't imagine. I'd like to interview a serial dater. That's going to be my... My talk series. Is it going to be your content piece? <laughs> Dating. I would love to talk to someone that dates that, that many times a week. I think Ted Bundy was a serial dater. And he did some other things serial too. Yeah. I still got to watch that Ted Bundy movie. Are you going to see it yet? No. I keep going to sleep. You'll like it. <laughs> that's, prob- that's probably Zac Efron's best movie. I'm, I'm not really hip with his I was going to say I don't know his whole discography <laughs> no, but so I'm going to roll with you I don't, I don't know it either Yo. but I'm just saying that right there no, no, guy, first of all Neighbors 2 was great you never to amaze me with your death <laughs> no I'm just saying like that's, that, I think this is going to be the movie that 
puts him in a different category in Hollywood. I think this role is going to do it for him. I don't know. Bad Grandpa like was really a tear <laughs> for me. Bad Grandpa. You, you would cry, Bad Grandpa. <laughs> Robert De Niro was in it. Yeah, but no, I think I think this is the one for Zac Efron, though. I think this changes his career. Right. To, the every, more, to the more every, serious shit? Yeah. No, I feel what you say. Yeah, because he, he's been getting that, you know... His, the his, handsome his guy Jonah in the neighborhood, bubblegum shit. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of that shit. But this is like showing that he can really like get into a character and really act. Like he did a great job with that. Yeah, I see what you're saying with that one. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you'll like it. You'll type of shit. You will like it. It's pretty decent. Yeah, your type of shit. It's decent.